All right, guys, this is Garden Tractor Garage coming back to y'all with another video. And at last, I finally got hopefully an interesting video coming. Um, and that is the 106. A little update on this machine. So here's the frame. Um, we got this done two days ago. So uh, I got it all sanded down and primed and then Dad painted it. Um, he's got more experience with painting than I do, and, um, he made it look real good. I was afraid I was going to get runs, because two days ago, it was like 50 degrees outside, now it's about 60, um, and I have never painted in that cold weather before, which that's not really cold, but, um, I've only painted one time, really, and that was for the greater box back there. Oh, and the wheel weights, forgot about that, but, um, around, they, they were around the same time, uh, weather-wise, I believe, so, yeah, but, um, anyway, here's the frame, and, yeah, it did come out pretty good, and there's no runs or anything, there's one little run up underneath the frame, I think right around this area, but that was from the primer, and that was actually for me, um, but that won't be seen. So, the biggest thing you're probably wondering right now is the big hole in the frame. And, um, that was pretty common for people to do just to, uh, have ease to get that roll pin out or get, there's one or two roll pins, I think there's two roll pins, but anyway, to get the roll pins or roll pin out and, um, get the drive shaft pulled out, so... Uh, they just cut a hole, uh, the previous owners did, instead of crawling up underneath, and, um, yeah, can't say I necessarily blame them, because that would suck, um, luckily, this hole was here, so it wasn't as bad for me, and that roll pin was lodged in there, that sucked, um, so, it was nice that the hole was there, I guess, but, yeah, we're leaving it there, and if I ever do put a creeper on this machine, kind of sucks because now this area will be right about here and the creeper will be here so this hole won't really be very beneficial to anything besides you get to look down and see your creeper um and i don't know that could it could still be beneficial because i don't know the creeper could have a little issue and uh, i don't know maybe ease of access to get to it instead of having to pull the entire rear transaxle and all that, but anyway, um, that's that, and we do have the plate that's gonna go over that, the plate is right there, I'll show it here in a second, but yeah, there's the frame, um, very happy how that came out, here's the rear, rear lift bracket, and, um, it came out very shiny, um, kind of odd, but anyway, um, I'll show you the paint I got here in a second, and that paint, it painted really well, um, these kind of came out okay, um, and the reason why they didn't come out as good as the other parts is because me, again, I did a terrible primer job, that was the first time I primed anything, and I just, I was like, I was that close, and, uh, w with the can to this surface here, and, um, yeah, and I didn't, you can see the imperfections in there and stuff like that, all the little nicks and stuff, but I didn't do a very good job sanding. That one is a little better, but, um, anyway, yeah, um, I'll show you it real quick. Yeah, it came out a little better, but there's a lot of runs and stuff, and that's not from the paint, that's from the primer. So, yep, that was my bad. Anyway, um... I think the yellow is going to match this yellow pretty good, which I'm sure this yellow is a little faded over time and stuff like that. Um, and I think the cream is also going to match pretty good. But um, it'll be really cool to have every fender and every front end design besides the, um, besides the uh, original. And a little sneak peek, I may have the opportunity to get an original, I'm not sure, but anyway, um, 
yeah, uh, of the narrow framed uh, Cubs, and yeah, it, it's it's pretty cool. Like we'll have the one hundred six, the one hundred, and then Dad's one twenty three. I'm probably missing one, but I'm pretty sure that was all for the narrow framed. Of course, besides the original, we also got these brackets painted. They came out good, um, and then. These are ready to paint. I gotta wipe them down with acetone again. And honestly, this right here, I'm probably gonna sand that better because I had this come like that. It was it was very obvious. I'm about to show it here in a second. Um, but you could see like this surface um, on like through the paint, um, through the fresh paint, and it kind of looks blotchy. Anyway, here's the paint I'm using, Iron Guard. I got it at my local IH dealer, and um, I will say I sure did pay for it, but it's really good paint. Um, here's the rest of it here. Really good paint. I've just been using Rust-Oleum primer. Rust-Oleum around here. Um, here's the grinder. I'm going to have to get another wire wheel already. Um but yeah, uh, here is, I don't know if I work on the 106 today, but if I do, this is what I plan to work on. Um, I'd like to get all this here sanded. I was thinking about getting a new tie rod, because it's actually bent a little bit. I don't know. Here, put it right here. I don't know, I think it's hard to see on camera, but it's bent up a little. This piece is bent up. So I don't know if that's the tie rod end or the tie rod itself. I think it's the end um, or the very end of the tie rod. I don't know. But I was thinking I was going to get me a new tie rod just because of how eaten away this is. And it's going to be really pitted from rust. But honestly, I can get new tie rod ends, uh, both of them, for like 20 bucks. So, And I can't find a tie rod, um, at least on eBay. I don't know. Uh, Cub Cadet Specialties. Uh, Charlie Proctor, I believe that's his name. Um, really cool dude, but um, he has a lot of Cub Cadet parts, so I need to see if he has a tie rod. I don't know. Um, I may not worry about it just because this one's totally fine and it's just eaten away at by rust, but um, it's still usable and stuff. But anyway, I'm going to try to get the dash tower done today. Probably not painted because I'm going to leave Dad to paint in this. Uh, the only thing I paint painted on this project, I'll show you here in a second, but... Um, yeah, I need to get this uh, sanded down, or at least finish. I need to get this right in here. Of course, the inside of the dash tower it looks pretty bad. This is almost done, um, but I have all the outside, and all the outside done. So, yeah, um, the garage is a mess. Excuse that. But anyway, here's the two things I painted yesterday. Uh, that's the front axle. And I'm really pleased with how the front axle came out. Um, of course, I'm going to get, I think they're called grease fittings. I'm going to get new grease fittings and stuff. Um, and uh, I'm going to sand this down. I guess it's not a big deal. But um, just so there's bare cast iron there again um, for the joints and stuff. I'm just going to sand that down. Personal preference, I don't know. Anyway, this is what I was talking about. I don't know... Yeah, you can see it right there. So, the same thing that I was showing you on one of those spindles, you can see it very, it's very apparent of how glossy this is and how that's blotchy like that. So, um, I'm going to try to avoid that again because this is actually going to be a pretty seen part, really. Um, so, I hate that that happened and that was due to uh, my user error, or not user error, but yeah, my mistake, but kind of sucks, actually, that's kind of, it's kind of curved, too, I wonder if that's supposed to be like that, but anyway, um, yeah, axle came out great, but, um, yeah, there's still some, I don't know, there's, there's, like, grease in here that I couldn't really get, uh, and luckily, the paint painted over it, and, yeah, you can see it, you can see it down in there, so that does suck. Honestly, may run another coat over it. That'd be three coats, but I mean, what the heck. Um, but yeah, there's front axle there. And all I have to do now is get the spindles painted 
and I guess the tie rod, I don't really need the tie rod, I don't think, uh, but then I should be able to have a rolling chassis after I get the transaxle painted as well, um, and that brings me to the other issue. I apologize, I thought this video was going to be shorter, but I have a lot to talk about on this project. So, I've mentioned before how bad this is, wallered out, and it sucks that it is so bad. And I got to thinking one day, I was like, hey, I have another transaxle up in the barn. So, yesterday, we tore apart this transaxle. Don't look at this. Whistling diesel. Um, another transaxle here, and this one is not wallered out at all. And it's actually appears to be in good shape. So we flipped it up, took this plate off, and kind of looked around at it. Honestly, we could probably get this little shaft here. It's a little shaft comes through, and I believe it's pressed in. It's on this side right here. I don't know if you can see it from the corner, but yeah. Um, honestly, I believe we're just going to drill this out, or we may just have to let it ride. Um, I don't think there is much more to drill out, really. Um, I mean, it's, it's getting pretty close to the edge there, as you can see. This hole is to the edge of the circle, so, yeah, that sucks, but... Uh, what can you do? I don't know. Um, we'll see on replacing this. I guess this has the same. Yeah, we kind of considered um, maybe running that transaxle instead because that thing is like close to the same, um, close to the same condition. But that one has the wet break inside, and this one has the disc brakes. And I just I didn't really want to mitch match, um, but. Um, yeah, also this transaxle, it, the, the stamp on the back, the badge, whatever, um, that's specific to this mower, I'm pretty sure, so I didn't really want to do that. Also, something else I'm going to do, um, I'm going to get the newer, uh, gear shifter that kind of L's up like that, and, um, I have a buddy that has a Cub, and I drove his, and I like that a lot better than this, you can kind of just, uh, it, I don't know, it's a lot easier to access, and it does sit higher up, of course, but um, you can just leave your hand on it while you're driving, and uh, it's pretty nice, but anyway, that's that. Um, I have decided that I'm going to use these wheels and tires uh, that came off the Massey, just really because the Massey project, that's going to be quite a while from now, and it's probably going to stay in that condition for a while, but... Um, yeah, just casually a 318 grill on the front. But anyway, also those rims are kind of in bad shape. And, uh, or wheels, excuse me. And these aren't, so, uh, and these are already the tires I want for this, um, project. So, I'm just gonna run these, and it'll be a lot easier to paint too. But, um, I think I'm gonna have to get new rear wheels. Um, these tires appear to be fine. They're not really dry rotted or anything, anywhere I can see. Um, but I think I'm going to have to get new rear wheels because these are pitted really bad from rust over time. And they were fluid filled, as I mentioned in previous videos. So I'm pretty sure there's actually a spot somewhere in the wheel where there's a hole. And for if we're going to go to this extreme of repainting this garden tractor, I really don't want the rear rims looking like... Or, rear wheels, excuse me, looking like crap, so, if I can, I'm gonna find some more wheels, um, so, yeah, um, this, I still need to clean up underneath, um, how many videos ago that was, I don't know, and, uh, or at months now, um, and it's still not clean, it's, it, it's terrible, um, I procrastinate terribly around here. This thing still isn't running. Uh, 318 is actually doing pretty good. I need to knock on wood for that. I don't think I've ever said that in my life. Um, 
100's doing good. Massey, I don't drive it much, but it's doing good too. So, anyway, uh, that's that. Also, we need to um, get some plexiglass to fill that in. But, okay, this video is 15 minutes long. I need to end it here because I'm sure half of you have already clicked off. Um, so, I apologize for the long video. Um, it's just been a lot going on. Well, not really, but a good amount going on with the project, at least within the last few days. And um, really happy to show you guys and this thing, this project. It's moving along slowly but surely. So, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, like, comment, subscribe if you'd like to. Check out my Instagram, Garden Tractor Garage, if you'd like to. And this is Garden Tractor Garage. See you.